President Jacob Zuma will launch the Maluti Apofung Special Economic Zone. This is aimed at accelerating economic growth and development in the designated regions of the country. The Maluti Apufong Economic Zone is 1,038 hectares land invested to accelerate economic growth and development in the region. In as part of the government's program of radical socio-economic change, the Maluti Apufong Special Economic Zone functions as a back of a port operation to ease congestion at the Durban ports and provide South African customs, functions and facilities for imported goods and export goods. The main industries that the zone serves are agriculture, agro-processing, automotive and logistics, which includes container, terminal and car terminal facilities. ANN7 reporter Lemohang Foke joins us live from Harry Smith. A very good morning to you, Lemohang. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you give us an update on what's taking place today in Pofum? Yes, uh, definitely. Good morning to you, Stefani and uh, Gyora Bezi. We are at the Maluti Apofung uh, municipality where the Maluti Apofung Special Economic Zone will be launched today by the president. And I have with me here MEC Sam Mashinini of Police, Roads and Transport, who is also the head of Economic Cluster, just to talk to us about the project that is being launched here today. MEC, thank you so much for joining us. It is always a pleasure talking to you. Much anticipated project. Just take us through uh, what we can expect you. Look, uh, one of the focus of the provincial government of the Free State was that we need to do everything in our power to make sure that we contribute towards unemployment, poverty and inequality in the, in the province. And uh, we then agreed that we need to go and have a special economic zone and we said, where are we going to launch it? We said we will be having it in the area of Maluti Apofung. As you know, this is one of the areas that was a homeland system in the past, and we do have a challenge of unemployment in this area. So we then agreed upon this particular area. What the area is going to do, it's going to contribute positively to unemployment because there are a number of the investors, both uh, nationally and also internationally. We are going all out, leaving no stone and ten to make sure that we have more investors that are coming into the province. Once there, were, there are more investors in the province, what's going to happen is that people will get more employment. That's what we are working towards too, to make sure that the people of the free state and also not going to be the people of the free state alone, even the people of South Africa, should then give a, a something. Because what is critical, what we must do, we must make sure that people are putting something on the table and they can do that through having employment. That's the whole focus and the idea around this special economic zone. And also, MEC, what makes the, this municipality that special? What is the potential that is in Maluti Apofum? Let me tell you, um, the free state in general, it's so special. And I always say it, the speciality of the free state is that it's in the center. Huh? It borders around six provinces and including a foreign country, which is Lesotho. So everyone, when you go to uh, Western Cape, you have to pass into the Free State. When you go to KZN, you pass into the Free State. When you go to Northwest, you pass into the Free State. Northern Cape, you pass. That's why it's so special. Now, once we have put our heads together to say, let's have this, so that we really exercise that opportunity that we're having as the Free State to begin to supply the entire country. That's the whole purpose of this, is to make sure that we get into that space, not only into the Free State, but getting into the other provinces through this special economic zone. Let's talk about the, the investor uh, element part of that. How will they be uh, benefiting through this uh, project? Well, there are ministers should have spoken about that one. It's going to be a tax incentives that are going to put for them. So that because when you in, attract the investors, you have to look at what are the issues that uh, they can consider so that at least when they invest into the area, they can reap, they can have some benefits that they're going to have. I've spoken about the issue of the tax uh, investment in tax benefits that they're going to have to make sure that they come in. But what is the aim of the province is to make sure that the people of the province benefit. That's the whole aim. Thank you very much, MEC. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very much for speaking us to us. Uh, that was MEC Sam Mashinini, um, the head of the economy cluster for this project here. We will be bringing more updates as uh, the day progresses. We're expecting uh, a lot of, of unfolds uh, here today as the president will be launching. Stefani? Thank you so much, our reporter there, Lemo Hangfoke, joining us live from Harry Smith. As she said, she will be giving us more updates as the day continues.